Friends, this is a cataract with mid dilated people. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. The main incision has been placed. This is a 2.8 millimeter incision. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And one more side port is being made on the right side of the main incision. The side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now the anti capsule is being stained with trypan blue dye. Then I this is a little bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more. But in this case the people didn't dilate much with adrenaline. And now I inject viscoelastic substance and it is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now capsulorexis is to be done. I incise the capsule with 26 case band needle, trace a nice flap. Then I take a uterata forceps, hold this flap and since the people is mid dilated I am going along or very close to the border of the people and thus I have been able to do a, an adequate sized rexus. Now these are the steps which we must take a lot of care. Hydro dissection should be very gentle little amount of fluid has to be injected the nucleus has to be tapped and it has to be rotated gently in this case the nucleus rotated freely viscoelastic substance is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece the machine being used is Woodley Cataract's easy FACO machine and see what I'm going to do. This is direct chop. Just bury the teeth, hold the nucleus with vacuum and chop it. And the free nuclear fragment was emulsified and removed. I'm taking care not to go under the iris trying to remain at the center of the people holding the nucleus with vacuum and chopping the nucleus into fragments then I emulsify the fragments and thus I manage the nucleus this is the last bit of nucleus the chopper is removed at this time so that posterior capsule goes towards the vitreous cavity and now some viscoelastic substance is injected and cortical cleanup is done you must be very careful because should not catch the posterior capsule and pull the posterior capsule while we clean the cortical matter try to hold the cortical matter which is behind the iris and now viscoelastic substance is injected and in this case I've selected a multipiece intraocular lens this is a sensor multipiece intraocular lens from about no financial interest but this is a very good lens and now in this case I have not what I have not shown is I have enlarged the main incision a little bit and now I am going to implant the lens in the capsular bag the leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag which is not very clear in this view of the video and then the trailing haptic is held with a Macpherson's forceps 
and it is placed in the capsular bag. And now thorough cleaning of the viscoelastic substance is very essential. The not only the viscoelastic substance which is in the anterior chamber has to be cleaned, but we go behind the eye well and irrigate the viscoelastic substance which is in the capsular bag and thus the viscoelastic substance is cleaned very thoroughly. That's it. Now the case is done. We just have to hydrate the side ports, do a final lavage of the entry chamber and conclude the case. Dear colleagues, my aim is to take you to another level of competence. Have tremendous confidence in cataract surgery, in fecal emulsification, in small incision cataract surgery, even in ECC, any kind. Be a comprehensive cataract surgeon. Don't say, I am a FECO surgeon. Be a con comprehensive cataract surgeon. Whatever is necessary in a case, whatever is safe for the patient, please do that. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.